think about think about this, and let me explain how this works, Brett, and see if this makes sense. A lot of people have never even given this any thought. All the major colors in the color uh, spectrum have different color wavelengths, right? So red being the longest, blue being the shortest. Okay, so if I've got RGB, which is what we're capturing nowadays, right? So I've got an RGB value. Let's just say we got our, let's say this is our timeline. Oh, there's our timeline right there from zero to, you know, one, two, three, whatever in milliseconds going across. Okay, so that when our strobe fires off, those three colors all get, this, the, the strobe fires, right? The gas goes in there, the little wire triggers in, there's this little miniature explosion, bam, and it goes off. So what happens is this exposure goes, bam, and then it starts falling down, okay? So what you're after is that the exposure is made while all of your colors are peaking. Does this make sense? This is yes. Okay, so, so here's the way this works. As long as my exposure takes place right up in this region, I'm good. I'm going to get my true color at any output as long as it's capturing it at the peak at 1,000 watt seconds or all the way down at 75 watt seconds. And the aperture does it, whatever. The challenge here is when the manufacturers of any flash equipment change their capacity to change their power output by changing the flash duration instead of the capacitors. So instead of one four thousandth of a second on a speed light, if they change that to one eight thousandth of a second with flash duration, they just clipped off a, two, a, four, thousand, a four thousandth of a second that won't affect anything really except the blue layer. And then it's going to be a little bit warm. Make sense? So why in the world on your camera do you have a color balance setting for daylight and flash? They're supposed to match. The reason is because the manufacturers all figured out that flash is a little bit cooler because that. Nobody knows why. Well, that's why. It's because it has to do with flash duration. Okay? So the statement there, Brett, is Brett Brit. It's ITT, not ETT. Yeah, it's Brit. So, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> So my statement there is that the more money you spend for your lights, honestly, the more this will never be an issue for you. Does that make sense? When you see an issue, it doesn't mean don't get the lower end lights. Get the lower end lights, start out, but do a custom white balance every time you change your power output. It's the only way you'll be able to keep your color temperatures consistent. 